Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $91,115.62. In the past year, I am up $33,894.21. Year to date, I am up $7,720.16. Today was a red day for me. I lost $4,197.97 during the day. And then after hours, I am up $521.06. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $198. I'm selling Disney. $130 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, zero. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, $146. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, $640. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $386. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, $840. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $72. I'm selling Google $180 covered call. This expires July 19. Total return, $214. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $182.15. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,969.76. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.05. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $8,560.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $112.12. My average cost, $60. Total return, $15,636. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $17.33. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, I am down $195. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $166.31. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,383. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $67.66. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,992. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $26.77. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $630. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.13. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $164.10. This is a margin account. My margin total is $106,350.45. My margin used is $101,809.43 which leaves me with $4,541.02 in buying power.
My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $43,847.32. That's this green buffer before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $20.20. The biggest news today was SoFi earnings. And what surprised me was that there was a bunch of good news in the SoFi earnings report, but it went down 10% anyways. Thankfully, my portfolio did not suffer as much as I thought. I'm only down 4.43%. It could have been much worse. Anyways, let's look at SoFi. I believe there's an article. Let's read this article from Yahoo Finance. What's going on with SoFi Technology stock Monday? SoFi Technologies shares reversed their gains after the company reported fiscal first quarter 2024 results on Monday. Adjusted revenue increased 26% year on year to $580.648 million, beating the consensus of $555.997 million. The adjusted EPS of two cents beat the consensus of one cent. SoFi added 622,000 new members in the quarter, bringing its total member count to over 8.1 million. That's plus 44% year over year. SoFi also added over 989,000 new products in the quarter for a total of over 11.8 million products. That's plus 38% year over year at the end of the quarter. In the financial services segment, total products rose by 42% year over year to 10.1 million. SoFi money, including checking and savings and cash management accounts, rose 61% year over year to 3.9 million products. SoFi Relay grew 64% year over year to 3.6 million products, and SoFi Invest grew 1% year over year to 2.2 million products. When adjusted to exclude the accounts of its now closed digital assets business, total products increased 24% year over year. Adjusted EBITDA rose by 91% year over year to $144.39 million, representing a 57% incremental EBITDA margin. Total deposits grew 16% year over year to $21.6 billion at the end of the quarter with more than 90% of SoFi money deposits, including checking and savings and cash management accounts, coming from direct deposit members. Outlook. SoFi Project's second quarter adjusted net revenue of $555 million to $565 million versus consensus of $580.73 million and adjusted EBITDA of $115 million to $125 million. For the full year 2024, SoFi reiterated that the tech platform and financial services segments combined will grow at least 50% and lending revenue will be 92% to 95% of 2023 levels. It projects an adjusted EBITDA margin of approximately 25% by year end, down from prior 30%, which equates to a range of $590 million to $600 million prior $580 million to $590 million for the year. It expects gap EPS of $0.08 cents to $0.09, cents, prior $0.07 cents to $0.08, cents, versus consensus of $0.08. Cents. SoFi Technology stock gained 44% in the last 12 months, and price action SoFi shares are down 10% at $7.08 at the last check Monday. Excuse me, but... Where was any part of the earnings report that was negative? I'm failing to see any negative portion of this of this earnings report. I mean, what happened here? Everything was positive. They only had good news to report. Adjusted revenue increased. SoFi added 622,000 new members. That's a 44% member growth year over year. It doesn't make any sense. They exceeded expectations on so many levels, and yet they were down 10%? It just doesn't make any sense. I'm super disappointed that SoFi went down 10% today when they reported so many good news today during their earnings report. Oh my goodness. 
what I plan to do in this situation is I might end up buying more SoFi. It went down even though there were so many good news. Now I might not buy just the shares outright. I might do cash secured puts on it so that if it goes below a certain price, I'm going to end up getting the shares. But I do find SoFi Technologies to be even more attractive than it already is. The fact that there's so many good news reported, the fact that it's growing so much. I mean, imagine adding 44% more customers year over year. That's crazy. But yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to do some cash secured puts on SoFi. That way I'll get the shares if it goes below a certain price. I have to choose the strike price that I want though. So other than that, there's really nothing else to report. So that's it for this portfolio update. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.